Most people trying to learn Tableau make the same mistake and they get stuck watching endless tutorials. And if that's you, stop right now because there's a faster way. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to do. If you just follow this one plan, you'll literally be better than 90% of Tableau beginners within a week of getting started. So let's begin right away. And before anything else, I mean, just go ahead and install Tableau on your computer because trying to learn Tableau without installing it is like learning to write without a pen and paper. Now luckily, Tableau Public is entirely free to use, so just download it and get started. Now next, I'm going to tell you something that goes against what every tutorial is telling you, and it's to download a data set right away so you can get started working with it. But first, I would spend a few seconds exploring the actual Tableau interface. Now don't get stuck or spend too much time here, because just click around and get familiar with the different buttons. The goal is not to learn what every single button is offering or what every part of the interface is doing. That's not really necessary for us at this point. And it's more just dipping your toe to get a feel for what Tableau is actually offering, because the only way to make something really useful is to know what it can actually do for you. But make sure to set up quickly install the things you need and don't overthink it because there are a lot of people that just spend weeks doing this stuff and then never really get started. And that brings us to step number two. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but today we have an endless amount of learning resources. And with this comes a lot of great things, but also new challenges, which is finding the right thing and actually sticking. Have you ever felt like you're drowning in too many tutorials? Well, most of us have, and I feel like that all the time. And most beginners cannot prove this correct because they get stuck starting new courses without actually finishing them. And did you know that the average online course completion rate is only 12%? You don't need to be a data genius to understand that that's a really bad number. So instead of getting stuck in that mess, focus on learning these core skills. Start by learning how to connect data sources with Tableau. And that means working with different sources like Excel, CSV files, and SQL. And your goal is gonna be to connect these data sources to your Tableau setup so that you can make the data from these sources useful and vice versa. Then you'll wanna start learning how to build the core charts, which include bar charts, line charts, pie charts, scatter plots, and map charts. And there are literally an endless number of things to do in Tableau and to learn, but if you can do these simple things that I just mentioned, you already know about 80% of what you're actually gonna be using for jobs, because most of the features that you'll learn are not going to be job applicable. So here's what to do, right? Start by recreating simple dashboards using these basics that you learned. That's gonna be the fastest way to build your skills incredibly quickly. Now, I promise you, and this is the serious warning, you're gonna get the urge to go back and watch more videos and drop the hands-on approach. And that's natural because watching videos is so much more comfortable than doing things yourself and working hands-on. But you must resist the temptation because instead of watching endless videos, pick a simple report and try to just build it yourself. You're gonna learn literally 10 times more in a fraction of the time. Now, moving on to step number three, and uh, it's time to learn the real Tableau skills that employers actually want. Most beginners stop after learning some simple shards or learning the basics, but the real Tableau skills do go a lot deeper, even though you're not supposed to spread yourself too thin and learn everything. But here's how to make your skills extremely useful for companies to the point where they really employ you. And that's the way to get hired, it's to become really useful and employable, simply put. And it's gonna be three different things that you should learn. The first is gonna be anything to do with interactivity. A significant part of creating visualizations in Tableau is gonna be the interactive aspect. Users are not limited to a single view created once, and instead they can actually interact with the Tableau visualization. They can sort, filter, and find the insights that they hope to get from the data as needed, and do these things by themselves. It's gonna be super valuable because when people are working in a company, they might need different aspects of the data and you're not exactly sure what they need to look at when you're creating the dashboard. So instead you're giving them the option to choose for themselves by adding things like filters, slicers, and different dashboard actions to your data visualization. This part is huge and it's also really fun because you're creating something extremely useful that's gonna be useful in the future as well. So try making, for example, a dashboard where users can filter by region, date, or category 
as these are some of the often or most required things in real world reports. And just showing employers that you can do this is going to be incredibly valuable. The next part is data cleaning. If your data contains errors, everybody in the company could literally get incorrect insights and you would be responsible because you created the incorrect insights. And that's why data cleaning is so important. And then there's also speed, which can be achieved by optimizing performance of your dashboards and of your data visualizations so people can interact with them in the manner that they want to and not be limited by the actual speed of the program. If you can build an interactive dashboard, you can clean messy data and you can make it fast and easy to use. And then by going all in on hands-on practice, you could start literally doing this within week one while everybody else is still learning the button names of the Tableau software. But dashboards aren't just for fun even though they are fun. And that brings us to step number five, which is to focus on solving business problems because that's what they need to do. So find public data sets and try to answer actual business questions. How do sales change over time? Which products perform best in different regions? And what's causing customer churn? If you can build dashboards that answer these types of questions, then you're ready for an actual job where you're gonna be using Tableau. And here's the secret to making really good portfolio projects to help you stand out on the job market. Instead of focusing on which cool charts to make or how to make it as beautiful as possible, ask yourself, if I were a manager for this company, what decisions would this dashboard help me make? Now we're moving really quickly in this video, but next we're going to cover when is it actually enough? Like when can you stop learning and feel job ready? And if you don't know this stuff, you're going to keep learning forever and you'll never be done. But first, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor. When I first started learning Tableau, I struggled with scatter tutorials and no real structure. I wanted a clear learning path that would take me from beginner to advanced without wasting time. And that's why I wish I'd started with Data Camp earlier and why I still recommend it to this day. Data Camp's Data Analyst and Tableau Career Track gives you everything you need to master data visualization in one structured path. Instead of just watching tutorials, you'll be hands-on from day one, analyzing real data sets, creating reports, dashboards, and solving two real-world case studies. And one of the best things about DataCamp is that it's fully interactive, and you're not just learning by watching, but actually working on projects in your browser. That makes learning way more effective and helps you build a real confidence. Plus, DataCamp is also partnered with Tableau, so by following this track, you'll be fully prepared for Tableau's official data analyst certification, a massive boost for your resume and job prospects. So if you're serious about learning Tableau the right way, don't waste time and start for free today. The link is at the top of the description. Now, finally, step six. Most people never really feel ready for a job, but here's how to check if you are and if your skills are enough. Start by considering this. Can you build a dashboard from scratch without a tutorial? Can you go through all the steps solve a business problem and finish with a good end product. It can be hard to decide for yourself, so asking somebody for feedback and for their opinion is a good option. Just make sure that it's somebody qualified and not your random friends and family, even though they could probably still help you trying to show in your visualizations. But usually you're creating something for a specific audience. Now, if you built a portfolio, which you should, then there's almost always a guaranteed question. Can you confidently explain your dashboards? And if you can't, focus on the reason and the benefit of your dashboard and how it can impact the company. And then finally, can you answer common Tableau interview questions? And I'm gonna give you some quick example. What's the difference between a join and a blend? And how do you optimize a slow dashboard? And can you explain level of detail or LOD calculation? If you can do all of these things and plenty more, then stop learning and just start applying for a job right away. There's always gonna be somebody less intelligent and less experienced getting a job and getting hired right now because of the courage to just try and go for it. So don't get stuck behind, just go for it and give it a try. Thanks for watching.